Hey everyone, this is Adam Hochstetter, and today I'm going to be doing a quick video going through how I used Stretsoft Sampling's Storm Choir 2 in a recent demo I wrote for their website. Storm Choir 2 is amazing. The legatos are incredibly smooth, and the sheer power that the ensemble can bring to your mock-ups is, is really astounding. Uh, you can check out many of the demos that are currently up on Stretsoft's Storm Choir 2 webpage. Uh, it's listed in the description below. And you can listen how massive and powerful that library really can be. Uh, however, when I was asked to write a new piece for Stretsoff, um, I decided to see how delicate and beautiful I could make the library sound instead of writing another massive epic trailer type piece, uh, which the library works very well in. So this piece is going to use 10 patches from the library, which you can see right here in my session. Uh, I've got solo female legato, women sustained text, and that's just what I call it. Since it's the same patches, uh, you need to assign text and contact to get it to perform anything. And then we've got men sustain text. Uh, and keep in mind, since these are sustains, I only use one patch because I can do multiple notes at the same time, unlike legato, which you can see I have next. Uh, and I have as many as three different patches so that I can have more than one pitch being sung at the same time, all with legato performances. Uh, so the next uh, three-year legato, we got three men ah legato, three women ooh legato, and then one men ooh legato. So ten total. Not a ton, but uh, enough to get a full choir sound, definitely. So for this setup, I'm using the Decatrees mics only. Um, there's a ton of mic options for this library. I just stick with the Deca because I think it sounds great, and it's not crazy you know, you don't, it's not crazy memory hog by only having one of those, but you can load as many as you think sounds good. So, uh, just the Decatrees here, uh, and I'm going through Lexicon Pro's PCM92 hardware reverb for um, putting some extra reverb on the choir to give it a really vast ethereal sound. Uh, using the Cathedral 1 setting, it's 3.69 seconds of reverb time. Like I said, it gives the choir a big, huge sound. Uh, that way they don't sound close up, sort of in your face. It's uh, one of the ways I like to make the choir sound more lush and, uh, and beautiful instead of, you know, not harsh, but intense. Uh, you can see I'm also using both CC1 uh, and CC6. Uh, CC1 is to control the performance volume that's set by the library already, and CC6 is just a custom one I use to control um, contacts volume for each instrument. That way I can have twice as much dynamic control over each patch. Uh, sometimes the library's lowest CC1 volume isn't quite quiet enough, and sometimes the loudest isn't loud enough. So it's good to have control all the way from complete silence to peaking on the instrument. I'll play the piece two times, uh, once with full orchestra and choir, and then one with just the choir, uh, so you can hear what it sounds like isolated. Uh, again, it's going to be running through the reverb still, but it'll be just the choir only, no other instruments. You can check out the links in the description if you want to jump to any specific patch uh, that I use from Storm Choir, which are the ones I listed earlier, and you can see here. Okay, let's go ahead and take a listen.
Let's go ahead and take a listen to the choir only. So first we're going to hear ooh legato, both in women and men, and then the men a legato are going to be added. After that, we're going to hear women and men both singing that sustained text patch. Then you're going to hear the solo female vocalist. And then we're going to go back to some of the other patches, the oohs and the uh, ahs in both men and women. You'll, you can see on the screen there. So by now you should probably be on Stretsoft Sampling's webpage with Storm Choir 2 in your cart, because as you heard, it's an amazing library. And there are a few more patches that I didn't even use in the demo, including sustained soloists, um, staccato soloists, staccato full ensemble women and men, and there are several choral effects as well. Uh, again, check out the links in the description if you want to jump back to a specific use of the patches, or if you just want to hear the full orchestra again, plus choir, or just the choir separate. This has been Adam Hochstetter, showing you just a small example of how Stretsoff Sampling's Storm Choir 2 can add a realistic choir sound to your music. Thanks for watching!